Hello everyone, my name is Jordan, also known as Freps, and today I'll be teaching you actually a couple of synths since the past uploads don't get uploaded and don't work and other stuff. And so what I have to do multiple times is record and record and record. But hey, that's my problem. Anyways, these two synths, I'm going to play a demo example for you. And then I'll discuss the very two cents we'll be talking about. So take a listen. Now if you heard it during the beginning of this example, the first synth we're going to make are the jungle metal cans. So it echoes for quite a uh, long time. I'm actually going to play this at three octave notes higher. The reason why is because it's not so much a high or a low, it's actually more mid. So that's, that's great, more high mid. See, it's very, very organic. The other synth that we're going to do in the next video is actually this, it's not basic, I would just call it uh, a little bit different. And so you might be thinking, well, Jordan, this is just a square wave. Not quite. If you actually open it up, we actually have three maelstroms plugged in and mastered into each other. So that's actually going to be kind of advanced. So the reason why the synth is so dramatic is if you actually hold down a note and tweak the modulation knob. you start to get this very crazy sound. So let's hop onto the jungle metal cans. I'm going to create a combinator and I do this by right clicking and going to my utilities and creating combinator. You can do this by holding down the control button on your keyboard and left clicking with the mouse to create the same menu. Or what you can do is you can hold down FN if you have that on PC, and of course that's not true, what you can do is just hit the, I think it's, no, hmm, I could have sworn it was F8, oh it is. The F8 button, what that allows us to do is it brings up our little window. What we can do is we can go to our devices and choose combinator. Okay. Now that, now that I have explained all the different options to create this menu, it's time to get to making the synth. What we want to do for the Metal Cans synth is we want to have a blank instance of Thor. So go to Instruments and create a Thor Polyphonic Synthesizer. Ah, sorry. Anyways, uh, we're going to open it up. We don't need to mess with any of the polyphony, the release polyphony, the portamento, or any of that. For our first oscillator, we're going to choose an FM pair. We're going to leave FM at 64, so that's dead metal. We're going to take it down two octaves. We're going to boost the carrier to 18. And we're going to take the mod to 9. I'm um, sorry, not 9, but 8. Sorry. 
and we want to turn all of our 1, 2, and 3 triggers on up here and we're going to bypass this filter but for filter 2 for now we're going to this uh, set this as a low pass ladder filter make sure 1 and 3 are routed make sure they go out okay so for the second oscillator we're going to choose another FM pair for the carrier carrier I'm sorry we're going to choose number 6 for the mod we're going to choose number 9 and for the FM we're going to choose 64 for our second I'm sorry for our last oscillator we're going to choose a multi oscillator we're going to change it to fifths up we're going to change the detune amount to zero and we're going to leave everything else where it is it's a very hard sound and the reason why it's so hard is because we haven't shaped much of it so I'm actually going to bring down this filter to about 106 hertz and I'm going to give the resonance about 64. Hold shift if you can't get the right numbers while still holding the knob. Anyways, for LFO 1, I'm going to set it to tempo sync. I'm going to set it to 1 8. And I'm going to select my rising saw, waveform 6. I'm also going to turn on color, uh, colors, chorus and delay. I'm going to take my decay down to 100, 256 and my sustain to about negative 69 decibels and my release we're going to put that at about 90.5 milliseconds. After this we're going to choose for our filter 3 a format filter. Now we're going to set this up here at x95 y uh, I think that's Y0. No, it's X0, Y95. 90, okay. So now that we have everything in place, all we need to do is make the sources. We're going to choose LFO 1 three times because we're going to be modulating um, with the LFO. So for the amount of LFO 1, we're going to choose 81. For the destination, we want F3, so filter 3, and we want gender. For LFO 1 uh, slot number 2, we're going to choose this to be 97. The destination is going to be filter 3Y. For LFO 3, we're going to set this to 38. And for the destination, we want this to be... Where would that even be? Ah, it's going to be our delay amount. So go to, let's see, it should be delay. Yep, delay. I think it's, that just says modulation amount, so I guess that'll do it. So there we have our initial metal can synth. After this, we're going to create a echo found in Creative Effects. We're going to set, uh, actually, there's a parameter for this already pre built. It's called Light Warmer. Now, what Light Warmer allows us to do is to stretch out some of the signals and echo them back and forth, back and forth, back and forth until they start to make sense or not. It's actually called light warmer for the preset for the delay. Okay, so after this we're going to go to Studio Effects and choose an RV7000 Advanced Reverb. For the patch, what we're actually going to do is use a very basic patch. So look for E... Yeah, I think it's EKO. And we're going to choose Space Echo number 2. We're going to take the dry wet all the way back to 21 or 20. That should work just as fine. After this, we're going to go to our studio effects and choose a line 6 bass amp just to turn on the compressor to tidy things up a bit. After this, we're going to go to our creative effects and choose screen for distortion. 
Leave the damage in the middle. For the type, we're going to choose tube. P1, we're going to take this all the way to 80. Parameter 2, take that to 90. Well, let's take this all the way to 100. See what that does. And leave the body alone. After this, we're going to choose from our studio effects and class equalizer. Just turn on low cut, parameter 1, parameter 2, and high shelf. For P1, we're going to take this all the way down to 169.2 hertz, gain down, Q all the way up. Parameter 2, take this about eh, 6.299 or 229 kilohertz, gain net. Gain all the way down, Q all the way up. Take the high shelf, leave it where it is. Um, boost it about 2.9 and turn up the Q all the way. After this, we're going to create a line MC class maximizer found in Studio Effects. After this, um, we'll be done with our synth. So I'm going to take off our limiter. I'm going to put release to auto. Turn on soft clip and for the amount, push it all the way. So that's your Metal Cans Jungle Synth. And I'll see you in the next video.